Hi girls, I'm back. Well, you just saw the end of this part of it. Well, like I was trying to point out, um, when you're doing the cream color remover bleach, um, you don't want to put it on your roots right away because your roots will tend to process much faster than the rest of your hair. Therefore, it's better to start with, um, leave about a half an inch or a quarter of an inch from your roots go down and start from there and move down. That's usually the dead ends of the hair take a little bit longer to process. The roots are always quick. And a lot of people I notice um, by watching a lot of YouTube videos make, were making that mistake by putting it directly onto their roots and then putting it on the length of the hair. The hair at the roots were like white, then it was yellow, then it was orange. And that's the process you're gonna get because you do have different pigments in the hair and it's gonna break down. So, and most of the time when you have black or brown, the color pigment is going to break down into um, the reds, the oranges, and go down into the brassy blonde colors. So um, I basically um, put um, shower cap, <laughs> forgetting what it's called. Uh, I usually put a shower cap on my head. It makes I find it makes the process go faster because of the heat. Because normally when you do go to um, a hair salon to do it, normally what they do is they do put um, heat. To process uh, the bleaching process of your hair so now I'm just waiting um, but if you have any questions I'm going from black hair and how I got to the brown hair you can always email me um, it was fairly simple I've been to the salon many times as a model my agency has sent me to the salon many times and I spent six hours in a chair to go from black to blonde and my hair was always like a orangey blonde and um, that's not what I was looking for. So I just I kind of figured out ways on my own to do it. And the last time I used the color Oops by L'Oreal, and it, the color remover, it really works amazing. It's like you go from black to blonde in one sitting. It does do damage though, but not as much as buying the the actual you know the blue bleach or the quick blue that everybody uses that I keep seeing everybody using. That makes me mortified. Um, it actually does um, damage much less, but you still have to hydrate, hydrate. You know, I actually use a lot of avocado oil in my hair, in the ends of my hair, um, for the dryness as well. So I'm going to wait for this to process. I'm going to then put it on my roots. I'm going to come back to show you the color that we've gotten to since we are, since I am trying to go to, excuse me. this color by l'oreal feria and i do love feria i'm not big on boxed colors normally i actually buy the salon colors and i mix it myself i've been doing that for quite a long time um but every so often i'll use a boxed color especially when i'm trying to transition from my hair color at home and i find it's easier to do a tutorial to teach you all at home how to do it especially if you're like on a budget especially in this economy we're tr all trying to save a quick buck so I'm going to show you many tutorials on how to do your hair, many things with your hair, from treatments at home, um, also treatments for the skin, dark spots on the skin. I have many tips and tricks for my modeling. Um, also, I learned a lot because my mother is a film makeup artist. Um, actually, she was the one that did the makeup artist on the 300. Um, so I'm also going to leave a link to her website as well on my YouTube channel so that if you have any questions for her but I'm gonna give as many tips and tricks as I can so stay tuned I shall see you very soon and we shall see um, what this has turned out to be so see you glammed all soon bye mm -hmm.